What is good friends, back with my tournament coverage, this time my man Insult versus Ample for ulti round 2, this is a highlight match, looking at the teams, I know the team that Insult is bringing, it's Mega Alakazam plus Z Water Crawdon, Assault Vest Tangrowth with I think HP Fire and Grass Knot, the reason you run Grass Knot on HP Fire is so you can still break Zygarde's sub even if you don't have HP Ice and you are not set up for that for Zygarde, then it's a bulky train with Toxic and Rocks, I think Helmet Tornadoes and Scarf Landris. On Empo's side, um, it looks to be defensive Rocks Landris, Defog Finny, um, most likely a breaking Lily could be either Specs or Z move, and I'm thinking it's Scarf Katana. There's also a slight chance it's Scarf Greninja, but it's most likely Scarf Katana. And Zard is probably X because he doesn't have Pursuit support, and also if it's Zard Y, it weakens Greninja's or potentially Finny's water moves. And also, if he only has Defog on the Finny, and if he doesn't have a secondary Defogger, which I don't think he's gonna have a secondary Defogger, unless it's Defog Scarf card. Um, he's only gonna have Defog on Finny, and then Rocks on Landris. So he's most likely ZRX, because no Pursuit support, that's why I would weaken Greninja's or Finny's water moves. And also, if he only has one Defogger, um, Zadex is a little bit less weaker to Rocks than ZY after Mega, so it just makes more sense for it to be Zadex, which does look like a threat to Insult's team um, because it usually runs Earthquake to deal with Heatran, and Flabbits also does a lot to Landris. So, turn 1 Insult cannot stay in here just in case this is Scarf Grand. If he loses it to Ice Beam turn 1, um, Zadex just 6 0s kinda, or like not, not 6 0s, but it destroys him. So, he has to switch out here. Is he gonna go into Tangros or any Heatran? Um, I guess there's a slight chance he's gonna go Torn, because if it's max HP it can live any hit, most likely, unless it's like Life Up Ice Beam Grand, which I don't think is a thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna see either the Tangros or the Heatran come out here. And Ampo... Um, I'm thinking this is most likely Battlebond Grand, but there's also a slight chance it's Protein. Um, Ampo might just Hydro Pump or he might also Spikes, he, he just Spikes, yeah. Um, I agree with spiking because it covers the trend and it covers the tank growth. Uh, pump obviously would have been amazing there. Now Empo is mostly going to switch out if he's locked in. I assume it's going to be choice specs. Uh, Insult can probably just get up the rocks here. Yeah, Empo switches out into Zard, confirming that he's most likely off quick Zardex. Now this is a 50-50. Um, if Insult wants to stay in and predict him to go for Flabbits, predicting the Landris. Or if he wants to switch out into um, Landris, predicting him to go for Earthquake. He stays in, predicting him to go for Flabbits and gets a Toxic on the Zard. Now it's another 50-50. Um, because... This trend is like quite important for Insult. Um, let's see if Ampo predicts him to switch out into Landers. Does Flabbits again, amazing play from Ampo right there. So the Zard is getting quite chipped, um, he does U-turn. Uh, I don't know if he wants to go back into the trend because Ampo might predict that. Yeah, he does predict him going back into the trend. Um, I think Torn was definitely the right play because if it's max HP Torn, I think it should be able to live a Flabbits at minus one. And now we can see a Hurricane or U-turn here, most likely a Hurricane because you don't want to play around with the Zard. Uh, Finny comes out. Uh, Finny is most likely going to throw off a Nature's Madness here. I don't think he wants to defog because the Zard is already um, toxic and weakened anyway. So like the Zard is pretty much only going to be fodder at this point. Um, so U-turn here most likely in the tank growth. I think Nature's Madness is always the play, especially with that spike up. You can weaken the tank growth. Never mind, he misses. The miss is annoying for Empo. Um, he has to switch out here. Well, does he even switch into this? He doesn't have great switch-ins. If he breaks a Giga Drain... Um, he goes Landris, which covers Giga Drain, I guess, but yeah. And so it goes for a knockoff there. Uh, gets rid of the Rocky Helmet. And uh, he's gonna HP... Oh, he, I just said that Team Perry has Grass and HP5. He doesn't have HP, I forgot. Um, basically, Ember wants to get up his hazards because if he has rocks and spikes up, um, it's easier for him to ward on the tank growth and get his Ash Greninja form. So he goes into Greninja. And I don't know if Specs Dark Pulse kills Tornadoes from here. If it does, um, he's definitely gonna click Dark Pulse because Insult has like his Dark Resist is Crawdon, so he's just gonna if Dark Pulse kills, kills, he's gonna click it here. Um, so Insult has to um, go on a Tangros here if Dark Pulse kills the Tornadoes. And since he dodged the Nature's Madness from the Finny, I'm pretty sure Tangros should be able to live too with E. No, not with E, barely, barely. <laughs> but yeah, um, Insult has to go for Giga Drain here. He cannot mess around. Ampo knows that he has to for Grass Nadia. He has Grassland and Giga Drain, I think. Or maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't have Giga Drain. I don't know the exact moveset. Maybe it's Grassland, HP Fire, Knock off an Earthquake. I really don't remember the exact set. But yeah, Scarf Smart Strike should not be able to kill and HP Fire should be able to pick off the Kartana. So HP Fire comes in clutch there. Um and Greninja can now get the Ash from just by clicking Dark Pulse here. Um if he's wild he clicks pump. But there's no reason to click pump. Um, because Insult has a Mega Alakazam that forces out the Greninja afterwards anyway, because it outspeeds it. So he's just gonna click Dark Pulse here, and Insult has nothing to prevent this Greninja from getting the Battle Bond off. Um, but he's up, um, like at the moment he's up 1-1, and now if he sacks one it's 5-5, but then he still um, gets to bring 
I like a Zam out, or he gets to bring out the Scarf Land to get a Greninja out after. And also the Zard is pretty low, so Insult is like in slightly better position still. He has to be careful around this Gren though, this is a really big threat. So yeah, he was either gonna go Land or Alakazam. Landris is gonna go for U-turn or um yeah, I think U-turn is fine because he knocked off the opposing Landris helmet. So he doesn't like take any chip if he goes for U-turn right here. And Empo is definitely gonna switch out because this Greninja can like win the game for him potentially. Um, I still think Intel is like in a favorable favorable position overall. So what is he gonna switch out into his own land or he might sack the Zard? The Zard's not really doing much. And yeah, the Lily is definitely cool to have around to block Aqua Jet from the Crawdon because late, late game Crawdon could also be really scary for Ampo. So I assume we just see a U-turn here from Insel because it covers all bases. So he just going to stop of Finny. Yeah, he was either going to go Finny or Landris. Uh, I guess second Zard was also maybe an option. So Tornadus comes out. I assume he's going to go for Defog here. And Embo has a few options. He could go hard into Greninja predicting the defog. Because uh, I don't think Moonblast kills from this range. Yeah, he goes hard into Greninja predicting the defog gets to play right. And now, um, if Dark Bolt kills, he's gonna click it. Which it should kill. He's in Ash Greninja form, he's in Battlebond form. So yeah, he's just gonna click Dark Bolt here, and Inkled has to sack something. Um, I assume he's either gonna sack the Crawdon or the Heatran. Because Alakazam is like his speed control outside of Landers and is really important. Tornadus is still nice to have, so you either sack Crawdon or you sack Heatran. Uh, maybe you sack Crawdon here because it's not doing too much. As um, I think Dark Pulse... Oh, he does pump, wow. <laughs> I thought Dark Pulse was um, maybe the play, but he is pumping, wow. Which means he has to hit multiple pumps, so he's able to hit two pumps. And now either Alakazam or Landris can come out. Uh, Landris comes out and it's gonna click U-turn again here. Uh, Ambo's obviously gonna switch out because he's not locked into Water Shuriken. He goes in his own Landris. So we see a U-turn here, we could see either the Torn or the Alakazam come out. Um, well, if Torn only has Hurricane to hit this with, then I think Alakazam is the better play, because if you go Torn, then you risk missing Hurricane. So Alakazam is just gonna Mega here to get the Intimidate, trace the Intimidate, um, and it's obviously faster. Well, if, if, if Lando stays in a trace is Intimidate, um, and he's just gonna Psychic here, I think? Shadow Balls, okay. Um, Shadow Ball, yeah, okay, that was a good play on Insult, because Alak Landris was in Shadow Ball range, and just in case Impo wanted to go hard into Lele, Shadow Ball was the play. Like, Landris was already low, so he didn't have to Psychic. Yeah, that was my bad. So Lele comes out, and yeah, it's either Specs or Z-Move. I'm thinking it's probably Z-Move. He doubles, um, knowing that the Heatran might come out. That was wild. Like, I was gonna say, is, does he have Focus Blast, or is he just gonna Psychic to weaken the tram? He misses Pump, he misses again. That sucks for Impo. Greninja goes down. Um, so Pump, I'm pretty sure, is a roll to Oko Tornadus from full from Battlebond Greninja. Um, I think it's an insult's favor, but now the game is obviously over since he missed two pumps. Um, if he hit one pump, I think the roll is an insult's favor to live it, but then the next pump would have killed the torn. Um, but even if he kills the tornadoes with pump, let's say if he gets a high roll or if he hits two pumps, then insult goes into Alakazam afterwards. And he's still in a favorable position. Um, like he still has... It's 3-3, three, three, right? And like Alakazam was still healthy. It has Shadow Ball for the Lily. I don't think Lily can Oko the Alakazam. So, like, it would have been a game of sex that I think Intel would have barely won. Um, but, yeah, it was a cool game to watch. I see you guys with game two. I mean, it's obviously annoying to um, to end this up with hacks. But, um, damn. Unfortunately, Kron did nothing. Like, I was hoping Kron could put in some work. But yeah, I'm having my man Intel is up 101. I'll bring you guys uh, game two later. Peace out, friends.